Story 1. Babe, do you love me? I love you only. I love you the most. So kiss me, babe. Kiss me. I wish I can do it on the reality. You can do it online. I like a real kiss, not a online kiss. No. I want it right now. You do not love me. Come one, bae. Mwah mwah for 1000 times. He he he. Hey bae, wanna meet up? Meet up? Um. I I. Hey girl. Oh shit. What are you doing? Nothing. No no. I saw everything if the cap fits, wear it. You know it. And you threw your phone away, it's an iPhone 15 Pro. Yeah. You made me jump. It's that all. Are you sure? I saw you texting someone. Okay. I just texted my mom. That's so weird that your mom is a guy. In mind, um. Should I tell her about him? But look at me, I'm ugly. In mind, if my boyfriend and Kelly meet up, I bet that he will leave me because my best friend is too cute. Jamie. Jamie. Oh yeah. I'm here. And you scared me that's why I acted so weird, bestie. I mean, you suddenly appeared. Ignore it. Do you want to go out with me? Take a stroll and have some drink or else? Yes, of course. Let's go. At the park. You're so beautiful, bestie. You too. While I go with you, everyone always pay attention to you, not me. Ugh. Oh damn it. Hey bastard. What the hell are you doing? Jamie. You don't remember me? No. Yes. What's happening? Okay. Gary, I'm Jamie. But you sent me a pic. It's my best friend. Bestie, who is he? He is my... Boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Oh my god. But he hugged me. Whisper, I sent your pic to him, cause I'm not confident with my beauty. What the fuck? Why didn't you tell me that you had a boyfriend? And babe, you didn't tell me that you had a girlfriend. Girl best friend. Guys. I'm sorry. I was about tell you, but... Anyways, hey cutie. What's your name? My name is Kelly. Nice name like you, cutie. Thank you, I guess. In mind, oh shit. He is flirting my best friend? Huh. Nothing. Um, let's go back home, bestie. Wait a sec. How about your boyfriend? Ignore him. No. I have something to ask him. Hey, girl. It's my boyfriend. I know. Chill out, Jamie. How annoying. Shit. Nuo. Where is he? He's gone. He even didn't say goodbye to me. Anyways, what did they say? He asked me my phone number. And you gave it to him? Yeah. Something wrong with it. What the hell? What? Why did you yell at me? You got my boyfriend's phone number without permission? You're not my mom, okay? So I can do whatever I want without your permission. But he's mine. Are you sure that he's your forever? What do you mean? Nothing. Whatever. A few days later. Oh hell nah. It's too heavy. I can't even move them up. I can call my bestie. Hey girl. What? Can you help me? I bought a lot of fruits and vegetables, they're too heavy to carry on. I really need your help. Okay, I'm coming. Wait me a sec. Two hours later. Hey bestie. Where are you? Oops. I almost forget telling you that I had to visit my auntie today. Hayes. It's fine. So sorry, Kelly. Meanwhile. 
Ha ha ha. Guys, don't wonder why I am here and watching TV while I said that I had to visit my auntie. My auntie is the nun. Ha ha ha. And I want to get revenge on my bestie. Why? Yeah, because she's prettier than me. I switched off the power of my phone. I want to give her a lesson. What should I do now? Hey Kelly. Why are you here? Um, hi Gary. Whoa. Look like you bought all this grocery. Don't joke me like that. Sorry, girl. Let me help you. Thank you so much. One hour later. Finally. Oh, are you okay, Gary? Yeah. I'm fine. Look at my muscles. I'm strong man. I see. I see no muscle. Oops. You can go inside and have a drink. My pleasure. Hell nah. I forgot my house key inside. Let call your roommate, I mean Jamie. You're right. She didn't pick up the phone. It's too late, being here alone is dangerous. She always picks up the phone when I call, but I don't know why. You can come my house. Is that okay? Don't worry about Jamie. You don't talk to her, I won't she would never know. Okay. The next day. Oops. All I did is a bit too much. I have tea find Kelly and say sorry to her. What happened to Gary? I called him for 1000 times, but he didn't pick up. Oh wait. Kelly didn't come back home last night. Where did she go? No way. Everything is not like what I'm thinking. At Gary's house. Take a deep breath. Then come in. Aha. What the fuck? What's wrong? Kelly, why did you treat me like this? Gary, F asterisk CK up. I can explain, bae. Yeah, I can, bestie. Don't call me babe or bestie, you guys better go to the hell. Don't cry, bestie. Stay away from me, bitch. Don't call her that. It's all my fault. Shut up. I knew that this would happen. That's why I didn't introduce you to her. I approached her first. Are you sure? Who asked the phone number first? It's her. Yesterday, I met her by chance and I help her carry these things to your house. But she said she forgot the house key, and it was too late, you couldn't call you. I worried that she might face the dangerous situation. Then you and her came to your house, and slept together. All of this is the key's fault? I'm sorry. One more thing. I didn't receive any phone calls from you. Oh, okay. Then Gary, we're over. Kelly, we're over too. Wait, bestie. Hey, Jamie. My fault. Yeah. My bad. Get out of my house. Please don't be rude to her, Gary. Shoo. Bye, bitch and sucker. Guys, what should I do now? I deserve someone better, right? Look at myself. EW. I think should glow up first. In the coming days. That's right. I need working out instead of crying. 1212121212 tired. Never give up. I have to be more prettier. I have to think about the reason why I start. One year later. Hi guys. I am back. Do you remember me? Yeah. It's me, Jamie. Gary, don't hang out with friends too much. You do not my mother, you're just my girlfriend. But we have our child. Damn it. All is your fault. Then I can be pregnant by myself? Shit. Yeah, it's my fault that I cheated on that chubby potato with you. What do you mean? Nothing. You cheated on me with another girl, right? No. I wonder if you have your brain or not. I have. Then use it. Hi, guys. Who are you, bitch? Don't interrupt our conversation. 
Oh, cutie. Hello. Damn it. Close your fucking eyes. Never. You guys don't remember me? Excuse me. We know each other. I'm your ex and your girlfriend's ex-best friend. Wait a sec. His girlfriend's ex-best friend, Jamie. No way. She's a chubby brat while you're a hoodie. I'm a chubby brat that you mentioned, Jamie. Woohoo. Unbelievable. You're so stunning now. Thank you so much. Whatever. What are you doing here? Me? Um. I am waiting my boyfriend. What do you want from me? You think what you have that I want? A chubby body after having child or a bastard boyfriend? You have nothing. Hey, Jamie Baba girl. I have been thinking a lot of you. And can I? As I said before, I have a boyfriend and he's better than you for sure. Shut the fuck up, Gary. We have a baby. I want to break up with you. What? Why? You're so ugly now. If I go out with you, everyone thinks that I go out with my auntie. Damn it, you bastard. I gotta go. Bye. I hope you will have a nice day, my ex-bestie. Why a sec, babe? Sorry, don't tell me that. You still love me, right? That's why you meet us. What? You daydream. I know everything, if you wanna back with me, I can give you a chance. Are you kidding me? No. You better should get away from her. Who the hell you are? He is. Her boyfriend. Hell nah. Who are you? Anyways, thank you so much for helping me. I'm Dan, nice to meet you. You can call me Jamie. Actually, I was impressed by your smile then I. You're so cute. When will we have first date? What? First date? How about this night? Okay. I chose the time, now your turn, choose place. Okay, Jamie. See you tonight. See ya. The end. Story 2 Hey guys. I have to tell you all something. Huh, nobody here? Guys? Oh okay, I'm gonna join again. The next day. Guys, what's wrong with you guys? Are you okay? Someone show up PLS. Hoo hoo I'm so sad sad face. Play with me guys. The next day. They're still offline. Asterisk in mind, maybe they wanted to leave me. I think I'll leave a few messages. If you guys can read it, please give me feedback. I'll probably be away for a few weeks. Hope to see you soon. Few days later. Finally we come back. Yeah haha. -ha. Oh but where is Vicky? I don't know. Oh she left message. They read all messages. Oh no. We forgot to tell her we were on a trip. She's been offline for three days. Oh my god that was so bad. She didn't reply my message. Maybe we should wait. Yeah, I guess so. Few weeks later. I feel better now. Maybe I'm gonna join Roblox. She joins Roblox. Hey, girlies. Hi, Vicky. Girl, where have you been? I oh, I'm sorry. It's been so long. I meant to tell you guys this before. It's alright, Vicky. What's up? I got a boyfriend and I've been hanging out with him a lot lately. I'm so, so, so sorry that I didn't tell you guys this. Girl, stop saying sorry. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, okay, thanks, I guess. Ha ha. Billy, you've been quiet. Everything okay? Oh, yes. Sorry. So Vicky, aren't you going to add him here? Oh, why would I add him here? This is our group chat. Yeah, but it would be nice to meet him. Um, I'll think about that. You don't really have to if you don't want to. Yeah, but if you want, it's fine by us. Okay, I guess I'll add him then. Vicky adds Lucas to the group chat. 
All love? What is this? A group chat. Here's my friends. Guys, this is my BF. Hi, I'm Narika. Nice to meet you. I'm Kim. And I'm Billy, the hottest. By the way, what's your name? I'm Lucas. Nice to meet you all. Vicky, you should have told me about him earlier. But I already said? I do not care what you just said. I'm just saying. Billy, why are you acting like that? Just let it be. Billy, can we private chat real quick? Sure, I guess. Why are you being so mean all of a sudden? I can sense that he is a playboy. He's not good for you, Vic. What are you talking about? You just met him five minutes ago. I know. I just say that I can sense that he's a player. Is that too hard to understand? No, you just made me so fucking confused. I know that he's not a player. I've known him longer than you. Sure, lol. I'm just warning you. I don't need your fucking warnings. Just stop saying that he's a player. I'm going back to the group chat. I feel like my plan is working. Guys, I'm back. Hey, girls. Where's Lucas? He wanted us to tell you that he has to go, but he really didn't say where though. Oh, alright. Anyway, what did you guys talk about? Billy kept saying that Lucas is a player. I don't know why. Oh, that's weird. I mean, he kinda gives off player vibes. Not you too, Kim? I'm sorry, Vicky. Billy is right. Why you guys are so fucking weird? Ah, I'm gonna go. Hey, wait. What the hell? Why did you do that? Oh, Billy didn't tell you. Well, we had a plan with Billy. We knew that Vicky has a boyfriend and we were sad about the fact that she was all the time with Lucas and not us. That doesn't make any sense. Aren't you mad or even sad that she left us for a boy? No, I'm happy for her. And you should be happy for her too. Shut up. Why would I be happy for her? Up, I can't with his nonsense. Goodbye. Hi, hottie boy. Ah, uh, what? Oh, I'm here to tell you a secret. I don't care much. About Vicky. What did you say? Vicky told us that she cheated in you. LOL what? Just stop with the lies. I don't want to date you. I love Vicky. No, I'm for real. This isn't a lie. You got any proofs? I do. Shows fake proof. Oh. So, do you believe me now? I don't know. I need to hear it from Vic. Why? Because I don't know you. I know Vicky and she wouldn't do that. I'm gonna ask her. Hey, wait. In mind of idiot guy. Hey, Vicky. Hi, love. What's going on? Quick question. Have you cheated on me? What the fuck? No, I would never do that to you. See now, Billy. My girl is loyal. Wait, what? You told him that I cheated on, on him? Yes. You deserve that to be honest. And why is that? Not you leaving us for him. I never left you. I just wasn't active in the group chat and I already apologized. So take it or leave it. But you actually cheated on him. Remember Jay? Jay? Who's the one Vicky cheated on you with? What girl? Stop it. He's my friend. I would never cheat on you, Lucas. Do you have any proof, Vicky? What? That's what I thought. See now, Lucas, your girl isn't loyal. Ah. Uh, Vicky. I don't think we should continue. Because of what she said? Actually, never mind. Just leave. I'm tired of this. Goodbye, I guess. Poor. That was a bit unnecessary. I literally don't care. Wanna date? No. Fuck you. Agree, or I'll go tell your story to everyone. What? Why are you following me so hard? 
say again? You know I've been chasing you for a long time, and you still dare to refuse? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I agree. Okay. Good boy, haha. Nat, Naraka, are you online? Yes. Oh my god. Sorry. Everything okay? Um, no. Oh no, what's wrong? Lucas broke up with me because of Billy. What? What did she do? She told Lucas that I cheated on him. With who? Jay. Jay? Your friend? Yes. Oh. You should tell him what happened. Why would I do that? I don't know him that well. I know him. Since when did you have known him? When you introduced him to us, we started talking and now we're good friends. I know something you don't. Want me to tell you? Um, I'm not sure if I want to know anything, anymore. Cheer up, Vicky. By the way, I have tell you the truth. What's wrong? Jay likes you. Huh? What? Since when did he started liking me? I can't remember. Sorry. But you should talk to him. Um, I'm not sure. Be confident, Vicky. I bet you like him too. Ah, uh, but I love Lucas. Forget him, Vicky. He left you for Billy. Try to get over it. Who the fuck can I get over it? It happened like 15 minutes ago. Oh yeah, sorry. But you don't deserve being alone. I'm not alone, I have you. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Why don't you start dating with Jay? Because I can't. Why not? He likes you. And I'm Lay. Oh. Okay, let me talk to him. Hey Jay. What's up, Naps? I maybe told Vicky that you like her. Why? Doesn't she have a boyfriend or something? Not anymore. Oh. Let me add her. Um, sure. Narika adds Vicky to the group chat. Hi, Nat. Oh, hey Jay. Hey Vix. Didn't know you guys were matching. No, we're not. Oh, but you have a similar fits. Yeah, it's just because Nat wanted. Hey, it wasn't my idea. Oh, okay, anyways. How are you guys doing? I haven't talked to you in a long time, Jay. Yeah, but I'm doing fine. I heard you broke up with your boyfriend. Oh, lol. It's a long story. Oh, okay. But you are alright. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I also heard that. You know, that I like you. Yeah. So, um, what do you think? I'm sorry, Jay. I'm still in love with Lucas. And I'm no ready to move on yet. No. Girly, try please. Why the fuck do you want me to date him so badly? What is going on with you guys? Nat, you're never like this. I just want you to be happy. Is this really too much? I'm just trying to help you out. If you don't want this, then you're on your own. So you're going to leave me too, huh? Pathetic. You know what? I really am leaving you. Goodbye. And Jay, you better come with me or else. I'm okay. Goodbye, bitch. What just happened? I literally just lost all of my friends. And for what? Gosh, why are people so weird now? I might just go look some new friends? She joins Roblox. Oh, there are some people in here. Stop. You're so embarrassing. Oh, here's someone new. Oh, hi guys. I didn't ask if I could come here, but mind if I join your group? Of course. What's your name? I like your avatar. I'm Vicky. And thanks. I like yours too. I'm Alex. I'm Levi. Miley. Melissa. Nice to meet you all. Mind if I ask what made you come here? Oh lol I lost all of my friends, so I decided to look for new ones. And you thought you'd find the new ones here. Just go back where you came from and stay friendless. Mel, what the fuck? Don't say that or you'll become the friendless one. Yeah, shut up, bitch. You just didn't. Oh yeah I did. And I'll do it again if you don't shut your mouth. All right, then. Elameo. I'm sorry about her, Vicky. 
but you are very welcome to our group. Thank you, Miley. Yeah, we're your new friends for now. Ah, uh, who's we? Now shut up, Melissa. We'll kick you out if you continue this. Okay, okay, chill. Hey, Vicky, what's private chat? Oh, okay. What's wrong? Leave our group now. Why? What did I even do to you? You heard me, leave. Just don't get it. Why do you want me to leave? Just shut up and leave. No one wants you here. Just go back where you came from. I never did anything to you. Gosh, you're annoying. No way. Fuck you, bitch. Hey, Vicky. What were you guys talking about? Long story short, she wants me to leave. Oh, I'm so sorry about her. You don't deserve to be treated like this. It's okay. Maybe just need to be alone. No, you're not leaving without my permission. But what about Melissa? We'll handle it. Don't worry. Oh, thanks guys. I never thought I would be able to make this nice friend. I'm sorry if this sounds mean or anything, but what lost your old friends like? You don't have to answer. If you find it uncomfortable. Why did you ask it in the first place then? Curiosity. Haha. <laughs> it's okay. They weren't that bad at first. But after that I told them that I got a boyfriend. They get mad at me for leaving them for him and they kicked me out of their group chat. One of them was nice to me after that. But she tried to get me together with my friend and I said no because still I'm in love with my ex. She left me as well. Ouch. I'm so sorry that you had to go trough all that. So wait, you have a boyfriend? Not anymore. He left me for my ex-friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's fine. It's in the past and I'm just trying to get over it. Hi, bitches. What is she doing here? Same thing as you. I thought I made it clear in the private chat. Uh, yeah, I guess. So what the fuck are you still doing here? Melissa, stop. Leave our let's private chat. I need to talk to you. Ugh, fine. So about Vicky, you need to know something. Yeah. So she really isn't as nice as she's trying to be. And what do you mean by that? She's a liar. She told me all kind of lies when I was talking to her. And the worst thing, just she told me to hang myself. Stop gash lightning, you bitches. Just get lost. We all know that you want her to leave. But she won't leave because we don't want her to. You're the only own who wants that. So if you don't want to be near her, just leave. We don't need to hear your mean ass opinions about her. We literally don't give a shit about your opinion. So all I'm asking you if you could just try to be around her. Or you could just leave. Make your decision. Stay or leave? Okay, just shut up for a moment, damn. I'll stay but I won't be speaking to her. I don't care. Let's just go back to the group chat. Haha. -ha. You're like be the happiest person ever. Oh thanks. That's probably the best compliment ever. What's going on? Vicky is the funniest person ever. Oh really? But you guys say that I was the funniest. Yeah, but we didn't know Vicky back then. Yeah, stop being jealous. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like I took your place. You better be sorry. Anyways, Vicky, want to play some something? Yes, of course. I want to play the hood, maybe? Oh, really? We'll see it then. Let's go. You're coming, Alex. Nah, I don't feel like playing right now, but have fun. All right. Why didn't you go? I bet they weren't talking to me at all. Oh, well, sucks for you then, I guess. Wow, thanks a lot. She really did take me place, huh? Low-key happy for it lol. What the fuck, Levi? 
Why are you like this? What did I to you? Not you just being randomly mean to Vix without reason. Like why? Also Lexi told us what you told him when you were talking in private chat. You're so fucked up, Melissa. Like for real. Grow up friend. That's legit so pathetic and embarrassing. Like geez get a fucking life. Uh, when did he even told you guys that? He sent me screenshots of your chat and I sent them to Vicky and Miley. Get help. You're so embarrassing. Like why would you even start lying like this? What is wrong with you? Okay, I got it. Please shut up. You don't have to start talking like that. Like I know I maybe did something wrong, but no need to talk like that. You maybe did something wrong? Gosh. You're so stupid. Just leave this damn group. No one likes you anymore. You're so fucked up. Miley likes me. She's a me best friend. You think she likes you? She didn't even invite you to play with them. Maybe she forgot. Forgot to invite her best friend? Yeah, I didn't think so. Just leave. I'm so tired of your bullshit. I need to talk Miley first. I didn't ask so why did you tell me that? Um, shut up. After three hours. That was so much fun. I know, right? Miley, can we private chat? Um, sure I guess. She better leave after that. Yeah. I hate her so much. Maybe this was all my fault. No, don't start blaming yourself, Vicky. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, she has done so one thing like this before. Oh, but why she is still in here then? She told us that she changed, but as we can see she didn't. So hi Miley. I feel like I haven't been able to talk to you in a long time. Well, what did you want to talk about? Yeah, I just want to ask do you hate me too? Uh, why? Because every else does. Or am I not your best friend anymore? Vicky took my place. She didn't take anything. If you wouldn't be mean to Vic, all of us wouldn't mad at you. Like I'm just saying, but this all was your fault. You started this. I didn't start anything, Vicky did. She joined our group without everyone's permission. I know y'all wanted her in, but you didn't ask me if I'd want her in. Like you literally don't care about my opinion. Am I not good friend like she is? Y'all want me to leave because I didn't want Vicky to be in this group. No, you just don't get it. Guess what? That why we're mad at you. Tell me then. Aren't you self-aware of things you did to Vicky? You made lies about her, her wanting you to kill yourself like are you for real? That's so stupid and childish of you. I'm sorry, Melissa. I don't think we should continue being friends. But Miley, don't leave me, please. You know that you guys are the only friends that I have. I don't want to be left alone. I can change, trust me. Miley, this is your second time saying that I can trust you. Melissa, you didn't change. You won change. Our friendship over. Miley, please, you don't want to do this to me. I'll promise I can't change this time. That's what you said last time. Give me a second change, please. Miley, how could you do this to your own best friend? No, stop. You're not me best friend anymore. I won't give you any second changes anymore. I'm blocking you. Goodbye, Melissa. No. Miley blocked Melissa. She really left me. Damn. Fuck her. I didn't look at her anyway. Guys, it's over. She finally left. That's amazing. Good job, Miley. Yeah. 
Wow, she's gone now. My dream came true. Uh, yay. I guess. What's wrong, Vic? I feel like this was all my fault. I mean, it obvious was all my fault. If I wouldn't came here, you guys will still be happy without this huge mess that I made. Stop, Vicky. This wasn't your fault. Yeah, like I said, she has done this before. She promised to change, but she didn't. So shut the fuck up and let's celebrate. Oh, okay then. Let's go play MM2. No, that's so boring. Let's go play it. Adopt me. No. Fuck you guys. Let's go play the hood. No, we play that all the time. Let's not play anything then. Good idea. But what are we going to do then? Let's just play the hood. All right then. Oh, wait. I have a message from my ex friend. Vicky, can we talk private? Sure. What's wrong? I have something to tell you. I thought there was nothing left to say between us. Hey Vicky, I'm so sorry. For what? I took some time to think it over, and I realize I went a bit overboard with you. I behaved improperly. And honestly, I still value this friendship quite a lot. So, I want to ask if you feel the same way as I do. And if we can reconcile and go back to how things were before. Well, the truth is, I don't actually hate you. I was just angry, so I said some unpleasant things. I'm so sorry too. So, do you agree to forgive me? Yeah, of course. Great. Oh, let me add you in my group chat. Okay. Vicky adds Narka to the group chat. Oh, who is that? Oh, this is my friend, Naraka. Hi guys, nice to meet you. After a few quarrels, we finally decided to make peace with each other. Oh, okay. That's pretty okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So can we play Dahood? Sure. sure. They played in harmony and joy with each other. After that, Vicky and Levi became a couple. While Narika and Miley, under the encouragement of everyone, also became an adorable pair. The End Story 3 Oh shit Dada I'm going to be late da thanks for waiting, Ace. No problem. Oh, that's the bell. What do you have? I have English dot what about you? Oh, I have English too. Let's walk there together. Sure. Well, I'll see you later, Caden. See you later. Good morning class. Today we have a new student. Please welcome her. Hello. My name is Sage and I'm 15. Please take a seat next to Kaden. Kaden, please say where you are. Here. Take a seat now, please. Okay, let's start the class. Hey Kaden, right? Yes. One of your friends. Sure God, do you want to have lunch with me and my friend later? Of course. He's the best. One hour detention. Well, what the actual fuck? Watch your language. Fuck no. Get out. Fine. Class dismisses. What are you doing? Get out. Kaden and Ace blushes. Ugh. Wait, Ace. Oh my god, Sage. It's been so long. I know, right? So, how was life? Kaden Pierre Reed. Damn. What is this doing? Somehow I feel jealous about no. No, it can't be a dumb piece at all. It's great, what about you? It's lovely. I still remember that time where you fell into that pool. It was so funny. Maybe for you. I was all soaked and wet. Kaden POV. Plus we only are best friends. You would never like me back if I did. I'm just going to take my leave. At least I didn't drop my ice cream on that day. It was my most favorite ice cream flavor. Oh hey Kaden, should we go and get? Oh where did he go? No need to worry, he will find us later. 
First, let's catch up on stuff. All right. At lunch, they just finished class. Finally, that art lesson is over. Seems like Ace is busy right now. Now I'll just talk to him later. Hey, wait up. Huh? My name is Luna. Want to be friends? Sure. My name is Kaden. Wait, dot, aren't you that girl from my English class? Yes, where the dumb English teacher was talking about Ed Sheeran, so I told him the truth. Well, anyways, what's your sexuality? I'm not sure. Well, I am a lesbian. If you don't know, dot, what's your sexuality? Do you have a crush? Well, it's not that a big crush, dot. I might like him a little bit. Are you sure it's a small crush? I think so. Then who is it? I'm not going to tell you in public. But there's nobody here in the school right now. Everybody is outside. Well, too bad. Dot. Come to my house after school, and I'll tell you. And where is our meeting? Your house after school. Just in front of the school. All right. God, then I'm not going to math. That I'm white teacher looks like Ed Sheeran. Well, at least you don't have fucking science. Bro, science isn't even that bad. Well, I'm skipping. I'm not. Well, all right, nerd. I'll see you after school. After school. Oh my God, Don! How long is she going to take? I'll explain later. Just run. What? Run, goddamn! Young lady, you need to go to the detention. Fuck off! I'm just not going to ask about that. Now take me to your house so we can discuss this stuff. All right. Ah, you don't have that bad house, right? What do you have a mansion or something? I actually do have a mansion. You make me feel poor. Well, let's go in. Wait, what the fuck is that? Now take me to your house so we can discuss this stuff. This shit, son of a bitch. Hurry up. Bro, how do you open this door? How can you be so stupid? That was some bullshit. Says the one who broke my wall over Ed Sheeran poster. Shut the fuck up, then I'm not paying for it. Well, you are. Now tell me who see your crush. Are you really trying to change the subject? Duh. Up dot. Let's just go to to my room. Now tell me who is your crush. You probably don't know him, so I'll just find the picture. Here it is. Here dot. Look. Bro, he's my brother's best friend. See him nearly every day. Dang. Really? I thought I was his best friend. What is that? What is what? That shadow figure in the background on the roof. I'm not sure, but doesn't that hair look similar? Wait, doesn't it look like the new girl Sage? Wait, it does. But why would she be there? I don't know. Hey, bro, do you have my charger? Sorry, sis, I don't have it. Asterisk in mind. OMG, she is so beautiful. It's fine, by the way. Who is this? Asterisk in mind. Her voice sounds so hot. Oh, she's Luna, a friend of mine. Oh, hello, Luna. Nice to meet you. Oh, um, hello. Well, I'm going to take my leave. See you. Yeah. Bye, sis. It's so obvious you like my sister. What? No. Well, maybe. Seems like we both have crushes now. Wait, Dot. Do you even know how to ask our crushes out? No, but I have an idea. What is it? We watch Rotom. Dot. Dot. Great idea. Let me grab my phone. There, found a video. Do you have a crush and planning to ask them out? Well, you came to the right video. So hello dweebs who don't know how to ask their crushes out. 
But back on topic of the video, so you want to get stuff they like, Mind Likes Cats, Lego, dressing up and naming his guitars. So let me go get my crush's favorite stuff. Got it, let me show you the items. These are the items, and also, when confessing, make sure you read in a beautiful place. Oh, my crush is coming this way now. Itchy Tai. Hi, what do you need? Your love. Bro, what do you need? I like you more than a friend. I like you too. Now come with me. Okay. I swear to God, I'm going to Sheeran one more time. I'm going to flip. Hey, Luna, look at this. Look at that. Son of a bitch. Wait, don't break up me of my stuff. Asterisk something breaks. Luna, what the fuck? Oops, sorry. I'm still not paying for it. Well, too bad you are. Uh. BRO1. Hey, what's going on here? Um. Luna picks a flower and gives it to Lexi. Oh, for me? Yes. And would you like to go on a date with me on Monday? Of course, yes. Yes. Dang, I thought you would be too scared to do that. Well, my mom didn't raise any P asterisk SSY. Well, see you on Monday. Okay. Oh my god, she is so goddamn pretty. I am still here. Oh, shut up. Let me have my moment. Yeah. No god, I'm kicking you out of my house, god. You can come back tomorrow. Wait. Next day. Sunday 9.23. Morning. Good morning. Someone knocks the door. Who's that? I'm not sure. Then can you look for me? Fine. What's up, bitch? Okay, then I'm here to say if you should get stuff to ask your crush out. Sure then. Lexi, I'm going to go shopping with a friend that I'll be back later. Alright? Okay, let's go. At the shop. So, what now? We buy stuff. Let's go to the flower store first. Okay. Hello. 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 Can we please get some flowers? Of course. What kind? What flowers does your sister like? I'm pretty sure she likes roses. Oh, can we get two bunch roses? Sure. Here. Thank you. That will be 20 pounds. Bro, what? How is the roses so expensive? So, do you want them or not? Fine. Kaden, you pay. Wait, what? I'm holding the roses and I can't get my credit card. Fine. You owe me next time. Alright? Deal. Thank you. Alright, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Wait, where did the roses go? In my pockets. Girl, you don't have any. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm just not going to ask any more questions. You better not. Okay, let's go to your house and plan the confession. Alright. At Jaden's house. So what now? So I'm thinking about that you should confess to these tonight. Why tonight? Because if we don't now, the roses will die. Fine, but what if he rejects me? At least you had a go. Let's just see where he is. It looks like he's in the your mom pot. Wait, how do you know? We don't talk about that. We still have some time. What should we do? I should write a letter for him. Not bad idea. After writing a letter. Finally, we are finished. Well, let's go to the park now to see if Ace is still there. All right. Hey, Luna, are you not coming? I need to call somebody really quick. All right. Just ask him go out now. Okay. Isn't that Sage and Ace? 
I'll just watch first what they're saying. Ace, I like you. Wait, what was that? Kaden. Hey, wait up, Kaden. Activate the plan now. Wait up, Kaden. Kaden is hit by a truck. Kaden, wake up. Hello? Please. Kaden, wake up, please. Sorry, sir, you can come in. But that's my best friend. Sorry, sir, that it's for safety. We need more doctors. More doctors, please. More doctors, go. I'm just going call a friend. Come on, pick up. Hello, do you need anything, Ace? Hey, Felix, can you go to the hospital near town? No. Yes, please. Bro, it's 11 p.m. But sure, I'll be there in 10 seconds. Thanks. Hey, Ace. Oh, hey. Why so sad? My best friend just got hit by a truck. Oh, I'm sorry, Ace. Beep. Hmm. Oh, I hope you don't mind I brought my boyfriend. Nope, I don't mind at all. Nurse appears. So? Oh, Caden is doing fine, he's breathing well. Phew. If you want to visit him, you can come in. Can we come? Sure. Felix is POV. Wait, isn't that guy Caden? PSS baby, doesn't that look like Caden? Are you doing alright, Caden? Yeah, thanks for coming. Wait, it does. Eyes, can I talk to Caden alone? Sure. Bro, sure. you are in big danger. What do you mean? I can't tell she's watching, but just look out, Doc. Don't trust anybody. Not even you. Stay safe. Babe, we need to go. Call this number when you're in emergency. Alright, good luck. That was so strange. What is he even on about? I'll just put this in my pocket. Now what should I do? Hey, Kaden. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. So why were you at the park? No reason. I just wanted to. I'll have a stroll around the park, yeah. If you guess so. So are you not going home? Nah, I'll just stay with you. Nah, I'll just stay with you. Thanks. Well, I need to go get something that I'll be back. Oh, hey, Luna. Hey! Lena turns off the light. From why did the leave? Lena beats Kaden. Kaden black eyes. Am I back? Kaden opens his eyes. My dead god. Finally. I really thought you knock him dead. Bro, I didn't even hit him that hard. Do you not have eyes? He's literally bleeding. Well, changing the subject. Hey, Kaden.do, you miss me? Fuck off. I really thought I could trust in you. Well, too bad you can't. I'm hungry. Then let's get some food. Bye bye, Kaden. Dang, why do I feel so dizzy? Kaden fall asleep and awake. Oh, you're awake. Who are you? Oh, I'm Sage's stepbrother. It's really nice to meet somebody else. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, I've been grounded for five months. Why? Oh, for fighting with Sage. Well, she definitely deserves it after she'd done this to you. I overheard them earlier when they were eating that you were here, so I came to help for a bit. Thanks, I guess. No problem. By the way, what's your name? I'm Drake, what about you? I'm Kaden. By the way, don't move you or head that it's still healing. Thanks again. It's fine. Sorry if the mattress is a little bit uncomfortable. No, it's fine. Are you thirsty or hungry? I am a little bit thirsty, but I don't need a drink. I can tell you don't fully trust me. 
you are pretty good guessing about that. Well, you can trust me that I swear on my dead mom's grave, and that's a lot. I guess I could trust you then. Alright, I'm going to go get you a drink. Here's your water. Oh, wait, you can't move much here that I'll just feed you. Drake feeds can water. Is that enough? Yeah, Dot, thanks again. By the way, why are you helping me? Oh, my mother said to help other people in need of help no matter what. So that's why I'm helping you. And let's talk about stuff about ourselves. I'm Drake that I'm one six that I'm why sexual is pansexual, and I like cats. Then I'm Kaden. I'm 16 and I'm pretty sure I'm bisexual doc and I love cats. Oh, look like we have something in common. MHM. Someone is coming. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm surprised you didn't die when I hit you with that truck. So what should we do with him? We could torture him. Great idea. But with what? Yes, great idea. I'll go get it. Why are you doing this? You have a crush on my future boyfriend. Maybe that's why. Got it. Can I do first? Please. Drink it, Sage and me. Dang, I didn't even hit them that hard. Oh well. Can you try to get up? Alright. Come on. Let's get out of here. Where do we go now? Just wait one SEC. Hello. What the fuck, Alice? Sorry, anyways, who's this? Oh, somebody who I. Is he your boyfriend? No, is a friend I met. Oh man, then I thought you pulled up some bitches for once. Anyways, let's go. Where are we going exactly? Somewhere we can hide for a bit. Wait, what? Did Drake not tell you? I forgot to tell him. Oh my god. Swear you forget everything. I'll just tell you when we get in my car. Alright. Someone knocks the door. Now this wa. Shit, they're here. To the back door. How the fuck do you open this door? They escape and get in the car. Well, that was dreadful. That was not me fault. It really was. Well, maybe. Anyways, can I get to know what the fuck is happening? Oh yeah. So Luna and Sage has more people coming over in the plan what Luna and Sage thought was to sell you. I'm pretty sure that us all were going go hide for a bit because they are probably going hunt us down. So where are we going to hide? At my dad's hotel. Yeah, I'm adopted but like I'm so grateful to have two dads. Anyways, put some music on, Drake. Alright, I'm OM. Do you want me to kick you out of this car and leave you on the street? No miss. Now turn on the music. Fine. Hurry up, get out of the car. Fuck dog, give me one minute. We don't have one minute. Fine, I'm coming. Kaden falls and Drake helps him. Whoa, got you. Bro, this is not the time to be lovebirds. Let's go. Back to pass. Ace's POV. What the? Wait. Kaden? What the fuck happened? I'm going to call the Felix to see has something about this. Oh, my god. Fucking pick up. Hello. Oh, hey. Felix's boyfriend. Just call me Alex. Can you come over? Sure. I'll be there in like one to two minutes. Holy shit. Do you know anything about this? Yes, I do. Tell me. So, oh, Kaden has been kidnapped. Kaden has what? Uh, not now, Alice. I'm dealing with something. Just do what you want. Your dad's voice sounds odd. Hey, don't 
Don't talk like that about my dad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to the elevator. All right, give me a minute. I need to ask Caden something. Okay, I'll be waiting. Hey, why are you so quiet? I'm just really, really tired. Tired? Do you want me to carry you there? I'll be fine. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, let's go on. They get in the elevator. Oh, by the way, you and Kaden has Tasha room because we ran out of spare rooms. Oh, that's all right. Oh, we're here. Okay, your rooms are over there, and my room is just in front of yours. Let us know if you need anything. Just knock for me. You talk so much. Oh, shut up. All right, see ya. Bye. Come on, slow poke. You should go get washed first, then go to sleep. MHM all right. Hmm, what should I do now? Wait, I know. I'm going to watch some Netflix. Finally, I feel better. I'm just going to go check on Drake. Oh, hey Drake. Looks like you have more energy than before. Yeah, Dot, so what are you doing? I was about to watch a movie until I got some messages from Alice. What is it about? Nothing important. All right. I'm going go take a shower now. Okay. Bro was so fast going to the shower. Anyways, what do I do now? We have to go. Wait, what? Why? Just fucking run and follow me. Wait, I need to get something. Too late. Open the fuck up, they are here. Wait, already. Yes, hurry up. How the hell? Okay, let's run. What the fuck is even happening? Wait, wasn't that Caden? So did that guy take him? He must have. I'm going to call 911. Cargo passing the bro is the phone. What the fuck? He answers the phone. Hello. Oh, you know Sage and Luna? They are chasing us right now with some other people. Oh. What should I do? Then mm, keep the lookout. Oh, all right. Then what do I do? Wow, rude. I swear you have favoritism. Hey, guys. Wow, you finally knew. What is it, Caden? There's some car chasing us. Okay, that's fine. Wait. What? You know what time it is. It's 21.56. No, it's speeding time. But that's illegal. But that's the point. Sit down, Caden, before she starts speeding. I'll be fine. No, you won't. Sit down. Fine. Why do you care so much? Am I not allowed to? You're so boring. You should slow down until we run over somebody. Guys. What? what? We are low on gas. What? At least try get away from the cars. I am. Alice needs to turn and cut the cars off. I think I lost them. Yeah, you definitely did. That jump of the car was so unnecessary. It was so necessary. No, it wasn't. Oh. What? Do you not have eyes? The car stopped because there's no more gas. Oh, Dot, what do we do? Sleep. Drake falls asleep and starts to snore. Uh, I have some camping supplies in the trunk. Wanna set a camping space nearby? Sure, anything to get away from the snoring. All right, come out. I can still hear that annoying rat snoring. I heard you, bitch. That is definitely not going to fit all of us. Well, we got to use what we have. Don't be ungrateful. Drake's snoring is so goddamn annoying. I know, right? Shut up, but I'm trying to sleep. Then come and sleep in the tent. Hell no, that shit looks tiny. 
And here is so comfy. Then come and sleep in the tent with me, Caden. Okay. No, I'm not letting Caden sleep near you. Why? Just never. Come into the car, Caden. All right. Night, Alice. Uh, good night, Caden. Stage in the POV. Yeah, but I don't see them. Ugh. It's not my fault. You made that stupid idiot hit us. I didn't know. Is the others behind us? I think so. The others POV. This car looks so stupid. Shut up. This car looks beautiful. Are you serious? This is Ed Sheeran car? Well, maybe. You guys are so annoying always fighting dot anyways. Why are we doing this? We need the money from C. Our house is in debt. Probably from somebody using the electric for way too long. Wait. Hey, you. Yes. You don't let me introduce you to the So that one at the back is Sarah. She's the kindest one in the group and probably the group therapist. Next to the two idiots, the white hat is Lucas, and the black head with the star crown is Emma. They are the one who fights all of the time. Lastly, there's no doubt he is the one who is always so calm dot maybe I like him dot I'm not sure. And there's me dot and Xander, but those folks call me Xan. If you wonder how does this connect to Caden's story, well, you will see soon dot we are big help to them. Maybe that's a clue dot well, goodbye for now. That's not my fault. This hair needs all the care can. Oh, shut up, you greasy head. Excuse me? What did you call me? Greasy head. Do you not have yours? Son of a... Oh, my god. Shut up. Wow, that's, that's the, the first, first time, time you, you shouted, shouted at us. us. Hey, don't copy me. Stop! Is there a thing that you guys went by for once? Probably not. Then why are you so quiet? Why you care? Oh, shut up. You guys need to stop flirting all the time. We are not. I have to agree with Lucas. For once in my life, just let them be guys. Anyways, why are you so quiet? Don't you feel a little bit bad for the guy we are chasing? What's his name again? His name is Caden, and I'm pretty sure Sage's stepbrother is helping him. I feel like this Caden guy has been through a lot just because he has a crush on Sage's. Why can't we help him? Because we need the money from Sage. Yeah, but why can't we just steal from Sage? She also didn't pay us last time we did this. Well, I guess we have a reason if we stole from her. Yeah, I guess so. Let's make a plan. Is everybody in? Everybody agree. Okay, does anybody know Caden then? Personally, I'm just curious. Yeah. He's in my maths class. And how do you know him personally? I don't. OMG, your talking can be such a waste of time. Anybody else? Oh, me dot, I'm his cousin. Wait, Wait what? 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 I forgot I was his cousin. That's a big deal dot, w, you definitely need to help him. Do you have his phone number? Yeah, and I also have Sage's stepbrother phone number. Okay, tell them to come to the No Bitches Cafe and we will meet them there. Alright. Wait, isn't the No Bitches Cafe really shutting down? And it's always so empty. Yeah, that's the point. Hello, who is this? Oh, hey Kaden. Oh, hey Star. Long time no talk. Yeah, long time no talk. By the way, can you come to the No Bitches Cafe? Why? I'll tell you when we are there. Alright. What time? Yes, TT, what time, Emma? 9 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, 9 p.m. tomorrow. Is that alright? Alright. We'll see you soon, Kaden. So how the hell are we going to the No Bitches Cafe without Sage and Luna following us? Leave that to me. Let me get my phone. <laughs> What do you want, Emma? Oh, hey, Sage. So me and the gang, whatever you call it, we are going to take a break tomorrow, if that's fine. Fine, but you guys have to work double shift for the next days. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, she's so rude. I have to agree with that. Same. The next day. Everybody hurry up. Dot it is 8:30 p.m. Star comes. You got here fast. Yeah, I was doing stuff outside, and then I heard you, so I came. Lucas comes. B O O. What the fuck, Lucas? That was so unnecessary. I know, right? Hey guys. Hey. Emma fails. What the fuck happened to Emma? Nothing much. Okay, let's go. In the car. We are nearly there. Just wait for minutes. All right. We are here. Dot S O Lucas. You stay in the car with Emma and the rest of us. Go see Clayton. Why me? Just deal with it. The rest get out of the car. Hey, you guys, wait up. OMG star. Kaden dot while you grow so tall. Not same to you. While rude anyways. Meet my friends. Hello dot and why name is no. Oh, I'm Zen. And who's that? Oh, that's Drake, a good friend of mine. Wait, is that Sage? Wait. What? Sage shoots Drake with Ace. How long did I sleep for? Wait, that doesn't matter right now. I'm still here, you know. Oh yeah. So wait, where's Caden and the other two people? I think they went to meet somebody. Then why did you not tell me? You were asleep for like a day. Still? Where's the reason? I'll go tell Sage. Alex's pa. Is this guy dumb Sage is the one who took Caden and planned all of this? Alex's pop. Let's just see how long it takes him to know the sage is behind all of this. Phone ringing. Oh, hey sage. How are you? Oh, hey boo. Alex's pop. WTF is that ugly nickname? I told you not to call me that. Sorry, I'm good by the way. What about you? I'm fine. So why are you calling me? Oh, I'm here to ask if you know where Kaden is. Oh, uh. Alex's pa. Oh God, she's making this serious, and he still doesn't know. Dot, does this man have IQ of a child? Oh, I think he went to the park. Yeah, the park. Which park? Oh, uh, the park we went four days ago. Oh, all right. That I'm driving there now. Kaden, holy shit! What? Look behind you. There is nothing. Jake lies on the ground. What the fuck? Oh my god, Drake! What the fuck are you guys doing? Call the ambulance. All right, I will. Sage is getting away. I forgot my phone in the car. Zan, go get it for me. I'm going to get her. All right, I'll come. Just hang in there. Dot. It is not mine. In the car. Oh, there is the phone. Wait. Dot. Where's Emma and Lucas? Oh, well. Then takes the phone and brings it to Noah. Here. Then you call them instead of. <laughs> All right. The sage and Lana. What did you do? None of your business. Now drive me to the park. Wow. Rude. Sage jumps out the car. Where are you going? None of your goddamn business. Just stay here until I get back. Fine, Dad. I'll be asleep though. Star and Keaton hiding far behind. Are you sure she won't see us? Yeah, I'm sure. Only if you follow the steps I tell you. Now follow me. Why the hell do you walk so fast? Shut and listen. Over here. Okay. Wait up. I swear to God. Oh, hello, Sage. So where's Caden? Ouch! Move back. Never mind. Just come with me. Oh, um. Just watch and stay quiet. All right. Oh, he will be here. But don't you think Caden is kinda annoying and stupid? 
Asus POV. Oh shit, if I Donnie agree, maybe she won't be my friend anymore, so I'll Jussie agree. Yeah, he is so annoying and ugly, like, why would anybody like him? Oh, my god that you're like reading my mind. Dude, are you okay? You look like you're going to cry. Yeah, I'm fine. Yo, dude, are you okay? I'm going to go talk to him. But that isn't part of the plan. I don't fucking care anymore. The plan is bullshit anyways. What the fuck, Ace? Wait, how long have you been here? Longer to know you were talking shit about me. Kate and I didn't. Save it. After all of these years, you decide to break my heart now. Did I ever really matter to you? Kaden, you do Matt. I can't deal with this anymore, Dot. I'm leaving. Wait, please, please stay so I can explain. For one moment at least. Fuck off, Ace. Don't contact me again. PFFF. What? Why are you laughing? I can't believe you fell for my trap. The whole time it was me that my team kidnapped Kaden and you had no clue that you're literally so easy to fool. I thought I could trust you, Sage. Well, too bad you can't. Because of you, I don't have anybody else. Not my problem. Nice acting. Oh, thanks. Well, did you film it? Yep. I still can't believe you never told me earlier that IT was Sage. I wanted to see how dumb you are. By the way, what time is it? 23.30? Why? Oh, shoot. Come on, let's go that I'll drop you off. Alright. Thanks again, Ace. No problem. Asterisk Ace's POV. Let's just hope Dad and Mom doesn't see me out this late. Here we go, I guess. Where did you go this time, Ace? Oh, I was. Shut up, did I ask you to talk? No, miss. Come here, you useless child. Come closer. You ugly child, where did you go this time? Old lady, it's Ace. Mother, I can explain. Honey, that go get my bath, please. Alright. Please, please don't hit me again. Shut up, you asshole. Here you go, babe. Thank you. Please, no. Old lady, it's Ace. This is the police here. Open the door. Do you think he's going to be okay? Let's hope. I'm hungry. Then let's go buy some food. You guys want anything? Get me a donut if there is. I'm not hungry. Alright, Dot W will be back. Still upset? Yeah. How long do we have to wait, babe? I'm not sure. This is boring. Well, sorry, honey and I don't have anything you could do. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Kaden. So why are you here? Oh, I was about to ask the same question. Well, one of my good friends got shot. No, oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Now, why are you here? Oh, Ace got abused really bad by his friends this time. What? Ace got hit really bad. Oh, Doc, can you tell me what room is he in? Oh, the first room behind you. Thanks. Caden's POV. Is this the right room? Oh my god. He never told me that his parents abused him. I thought they were just joking around. Caden, is that you? Yeah. I am so sorry that I didn't mean to say that that I'm really... Don't need to say more dot, just rest ace. But... I will forgive you no matter what. Okay then. Kanan's POV. Then why am I forgiven? Giving him. He said he would never like me dot. And why do I also feel so sad seeing him like this? Do I still have feelings for him? No, I can't. Can't what? Oh, uh, Caden's POV. I have to say it now or never. Ace, I have to tell you something. What is it? I want to tell you that I like you more as a friend. And you have been one of the best things that had happened in my life. And you always make me feel so special, Dot. And I hope we can still be friends if you don't like me back. Caden, I love you too. 
You have been the best thing that happened in my life that I love you so much. Kaden and Ace kiss. Emma, Alex and Star enters the room. Oh, sorry guys, didn't see y'all there. Okay. What for? Whose phone was that? Oh, it was mine. Let me check. Who is it? It's Sage. What did she say then? She's wants to meet me there. I'll call the police AMD where you are going meet her. The police would soon go to you and arrest them. Alright. I don't really understand that, but okay. What about us? Just keep eye out. Okay guys, let's go. The gang left the hospital and heads to the cafe. Okay, I'll go and Emma will call the police. Wait up Dot, I'll come with you. Alright, let's go. Alright, love. Oh, you're here. You, you brought him, I can't believe I like you. You were for real too soft and always talk about your stupid boyfriend. Get to your point. Can't you let the girl take her time to think? Anyways, come here and I'll tell you. Sage throws Kaden off the rooftop. OMG Kaden. You monster, you just threw him off the rooftop. I know, that's my plan. Police siren. You fucking called the police. You are under arrest, miss. I will get you back next time, Ace. Oh, sweetie, there is no next time. One year later. Everybody, come on, dot. We are going meet up with. All right, coming. All right, get in the car. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I think so. Okay. After 30 minutes driving. Okay, we are finally here. Oh my god, Dot, I see my best cousin's grave. Come on, Dot, I'm so excited. Hey, Aista, what's taking you so long? The car door wasn't locking. Alright, let's go. We haven't been here for so long. Well, I came here a week ago. And you never told me? Well, um, Dot, Dot, look, there's a butterfly. Hey, get back here. It's been a while, huh? I know that I can't believe it's been one year since Caden died. I'll leave you alone and see what the others are doing. Alright. Hey, Caden. I miss you so much right now. I know I should let go soon. But, I love you. The yeah. end. Story 4 Hey girl. Oh, hello Alex. Have you ever played MM2 in Roblox before? No, I haven't actually. What's MM2? MM2 stands for Murder Mystery 2. It's this awesome game within Roblox where players take on different roles. Some are innocent, some are detectives, and one player is the murderer. The goal is to figure out who the murderer is and stay alive. That sounds intriguing, but also a bit intense. I'm not sure if I'd be any good at it. Don't worry. It's really fun once you get the hang of it. Hmm, it does sound interesting when you put it that way. Okay, let's go. They played the game for two hours. Wow, you surprised me. Why is that? It's your first time, but you did really well. Oh, thank you. Hello, you too. Who are you? You look quite familiar. Oh, I just played MM2 with you guys. I saw you playing so well that I wanted to join the group. What's cool, Max? We're always up for new teammates. Welcome aboard. Thanks, guys. By the way, I have a close friend named Lily who's also a huge fan of MM2. She's been wanting to find a good group to play with. Would it be alright if she joins us too? Of course, the more the merrier. We'd be happy to have Lily join us. Awesome, you guys are the best. I'll let Lily know. Okay. Max texted Lily. Hey Lily. I've got some exciting news to share with you. What's the exciting news? 
Today, I played MM2 with two new friends who are really skilled. They're truly outstanding. And believe me, they've agreed to have you join our group to play together. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much for thinking of me. You're welcome. I knew you're also a huge MM2 fan, so you immediately came to mind. Oh. Honestly, both of them are very friendly and enthusiastic. I believe you'll fit right in with our group. Let me in right now. I can't wait. All right. Max adds Lily to the group chat. Let me introduce everyone. This is Lily, my close friend. Hello, everyone. Hi, Lily. I'm Alex. Hi, Lily. I'm Emily. It's really nice to have you join us. Max has been telling us about you and how much you enjoy MM2. Yes, I'm a big fan of MM2, and I'm excited to be a part of the team. As for me, I just played MM2 for the first time today. Wow, really? You played really well then. Am I better than you? It's about the same. Ugh, am I only on par with someone who just started playing a day ago? Huh? Don't be too hard on yourself. Never mind, who wants to play Dahood anyway? Everyone agrees, they enter the hood. This is so much fun, isn't it, everyone? Absolutely, ha. Huh? What do you all think if we reveal our faces? I bet Alex will have to compliment me on being beautiful. What? Hold on a second, Lily. You're putting me on the spot here. Huh, Lily, that's a bold move. Of course. Revealing our faces could be a fun way to connect more personally. I agree with Lily. It's nice to put faces to the names we've been playing with. See, Alex, I knew you'd be up for it. Don't worry, we're all friends here. All right, all right, you got me. Okay, everyone ready to share? On the count of three? No, you go first. I agree. Okay, okay. Half a year more, okay? I'm 16 years old, and here's my photo. Wow, Lily, you look amazing. Seriously, Lily, you're so photogenic. Thank you, guys. You're too kind. Alex, come on, don't be shy. What do you think of Lily's photo? Oh, sorry. I was just lost in thought for a moment. All right, my turn now. I'm 15, and here's my photo. Looking great, Emily. Love the smile. Yeah, that's a really nice photo. Ugly. Hayes. Thanks, guys. Now, Alex, it's your moment to shine. Let's see that face. All right, all right. I'm 15, and here's my photo. You look so cute. Oh my god. Angel. Cool, looking good. Thank you, huh? And this is me in real life. Cute. Cool, looking great. Handsome as always. Thanks, guys. Hey, it's getting quite late. I have to head out. Oh, really? Time flew by so fast. Goodbye, Emily. Thank you, guys. I had so much fun. Can't wait for our next gaming session. Good night. Good night, Emily. Take care and get some rest. You're so cute. Hmm. Hey, guys, I have to leave too. Okay. Max wished Emily a good night and called her cute. But he didn't say anything like that to me. Is he treating us differently? 
Max is just being friendly, right? I really dislike her, that old fox. I will find a way to make her leave the group chat. I just came up with a brilliant plan, haha. <laughs> Emily, are you still online? What's up? Well, I overheard a conversation between Max and Alex. They were talking about your appearance in a rather negative way. What? I was shocked and hurt, so I decided to take screenshots of the chat as evidence. I thought you should know. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yes, unfortunately. I didn't want to believe it at first, but I have the screenshots to show you. I think it's best if you see them yourself. We'll resend the edited photo. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I thought they were my friends. I know, Emily. I'm really sorry to be the one to tell you. But I thought you deserved to know the truth. How could they do this? I trusted them, and they were talking behind my back. Maybe you should distance yourself from them, so you don't have to hear those nasty words anymore. You're right, I will leave the group. In the group chat, you too are unbelievable. Talking behind my back like that. I thought we were friends, but clearly, I was wrong. I don't need toxic people in my life. Goodbye. Emily left the group chat. Wait, what just happened? I have no idea. Did something go wrong between us? I'm as confused as you are. This came out of nowhere. How is she doing? That was intense. I don't know anymore. How did we become toxic, she said. I don't understand. Well, maybe Emily couldn't handle the truth. Some people just can't handle a little criticism. Lily, come on. This isn't the time to be antagonizing her. Why are you guys defending her? She messaged me and threatened to kick me out of the group. Emily would never do that. She's very kind. Do you have any evidence? Of course I do. This photo. Lily sends a fake photo. What the heck? She told you to leave because you're better at MM2 than her. Exactly. Hold on a minute, Lily. We need to get the full picture here. Emily has never shown any sign of behaving like that. Well, maybe she's been hiding her true colors from you guys. That doesn't sound like the Emily we know. And the photo you showed, how can we be sure it's real? Trust me, it's real. She's been acting so nice to your faces, but this is how she talks behind your backs. I find it hard to believe that she would say something like that without any reason. Max, are you really my friend? Why are you siding with Emily? Fine, you guys can believe whatever you want. We're not taking sides here. We just want to understand the truth before making any judgments. Ugh. I trust you, so stay calm. Anyway, Emily has already left the group. Ah, thank you, handsome guy. You know what, guys? This whole situation is just causing too much tension. I think it's best if I leave as well. Why did you leave the group? I meant I need to go offline and get some sleep. Oh, I see. G9 baby boo. Don't call me that. Lily, you shouldn't be making jokes at a time when things are so tense. Shut up. Meanwhile. I can't believe Emily would say such hurtful words. She's incredibly gentle and kind. I've played with her long enough to understand her character. I need to find her and ask her directly about everything. Alex sent a message to Emily. How could they dare to criticize my appearance behind my back? They were praising my looks when I showed them photos, weren't they? Have they lost their minds? I trusted them, believed we were friends, and now, they were pretending all along. It hurts to think they were saying those things about me. I'll find people who appreciate me for who I am, not tear me down behind my back. 
Oh, someone has messaged me. Is it Alex? Holy Emily, what happened to you? Can we talk about why you left the group? Didn't you criticize my appearance? Then why are you coming to me? What? Emily, I swear we've never done that. I don't know where that's coming from. Lily told me, I heard you and Max were making fun of my appearance, that's why. We didn't do that. We all find you beautiful. Lily showed me a screenshot of a conversation. She said you both were criticizing how I looked. That's not true at all, Emily. I promise you. We've always thought you're great just the way you are. But the picture Lily sent me. She lied. I don't understand, Alex. Why would Lily lie about this? Wait, Lily? She's the one who told you about this? Yes, she showed me a screenshot of your conversation. Emily, I think Lily might be manipulating things here. She's been causing a lot of confusion within the group lately. What do you mean? I just realized, Lily might have twisted things to create a misunderstanding between us. I can't believe I fell for it. She might have wanted you to leave the group. What? Are you saying she intentionally lied to me? It's starting to make sense now. I'll talk to Max and get to the bottom of this. I'm really sorry you had to go through this, Emily. Let's get back to the group chat. In the group chat. Welcome back, Emily. What? Excuse Emily, I'm glad you're back. Why is she here again? What you lied about has been revealed by us. What lying are you talking about? Lily? What did you say? I. I. Exactly. She lied about the screenshots. Yeah. What? I can't believe she would do something like that. Why, Lily? I trusted you. How could you manipulate things this way? I. I didn't mean for it to go this far. That's not an excuse. We've been friends for so long, and you decided to betray that trust. I messed up, okay? I thought it would make Emily leave the group. And you were willing to hurt me like that? Her attitude is really annoying. This is unacceptable, Lily. You need to take responsibility for your actions. I messed up big time. I'm really sorry, Emily. Please tell Alex not to be angry with me anymore. No. Alex removed Lily from the group chat. I've removed Lily from the group chat. I don't think we can trust her after all this. Emily, I'm so sorry for all of this. Lily's my close friend, and I suggested adding her to the group. I had no idea she would do something like this. It's not your fault, Max. I appreciate your honesty being by being by being by being by. Being by my side. I'm really grateful for both of you. The end. Story 5. I just read an article about unicorns, you know. Unicorns, huh? Those are just legends. Exactly, Diana. There's no concrete evidence of unicorn existence. Haha, <laughs> Diana, don't believe in those things. Unicorns are just myths. But I've come across many ancient stories and documents mentioning unicorns. It can't be purely mythical. Those stories might be meant to make the world more fascinating. Why take them so seriously? If unicorns really existed, why haven't we seen any evidence in the modern world? That's right. The world has been thoroughly studied, yet there's no evidence of unicorn existence. But, but... Huh, Diana, don't delve too deep into this. Let your spirit roam free with the unicorn legend. True, this world is vast, and there's much we still don't know. Yeah, Diana, don't be sad. Let's all have a good laugh with this legend together. You're so dumb. It's not my fault, dude. 
Ha ha Diana, I can't believe you actually thought unicorns were real. Stop being so mean, guys. Nina underscore 0001 is online. Let's just drop it. Oh hey, mine is online. Sup, Mina. Oh my god, Mina. Finally. Hi, Mina. Hi, guys. These idiots were scolding me because I forgot unicorns didn't exist. How are we the idiots then? Because I said so. That's not a valid reason, you foo. Let's just pause. My name is Toshiro. And I'm 17. Says Seo Jun he's also 17. Him and Diana over here are like siblings. They fight all the time. But I still love them. Diana is turning 18 in a few weeks. She's super stubborn, but caring. Now over to Celine. She's 17 in the group therapist. Very understanding. And nice, we all love her. And Mina. She's 17. She's very quiet, but the most amazing girl I've ever seen. I've never been more in love, but no one here knows that. Not even her. This crush has been going on for more than a year now. I'm getting sidetracked anyways. We're just a very close friend group. Like, so close that we don't really want to get to know new people. But who knows? You never know what will happen in the future. Anyways, let's go back. Shut up, C.O. June. Just drop the unicorn shit. He <laughs> unicorn shit. You're so immature. Oh, my god. It was a little funny. Are you sure you guys aren't related? I'm glad we're not. For once, I agree with her. Guys, come on. Wanna play the hood? Okay. They all say yes and join. Oh, wow. We all spawned at pretty close seat to each other. Haha. <laughs> Weirdo. Can I be in your group chat instead of this weirdo? What the fuck? You bitch. You better fucking say sorry right now. Hey, you. What did you get out of that? Did you feel better? Do you not get enough attention from your parents? Excuse me. Shut up. I'm not done with you. Did mommy never care for your stick figure drawings? Did daddy never jump on the trampoline with you? Did they never show up in your school graduations? I was just getting rid of. I don't care what that was. But if that was an attempt for attention or anything to get you positive feedback, then you're fucking stupid. But she deserved it. Look at her. Get out of my fucking sight. Jesse left the game. Well, that was unexpected coming from you, Toshiro. Yeah, that was weird. Toshiro private chat me. Oh, I'm okay. What did you want to talk about? Let me cut to the chase, Toshiro. What the hell was that? You have never acted like that before and definitely not towards a complete stranger. Is this just a bad day? Um, no. That random girl just stomped Mina and called her mean things. What did she expect? You never lash out on people. Is this because of Mina? What? No. Wouldn't you have done the same? I'm just defending a friend. There's a difference between mean defending a friend and lashing out on people. Like that was personal. We all thought it was weird. I just got mad. Yes, we all saw that. But Toshiro, do you like Mina? No, she's just a friend to me. If more bad stuff happens to Mina, I don't want you lashing out on everyone. It could be very bad for you and the others. And I really mean it when I say you can tell me anything. I'm not going to tell anyone. Fuck. Okay, you're right. I really am like Mina. Please help. It's been over a year and I don't want to lose her. Wow, I've never seen you like this. You must have been holding this in for a while, huh? You're lucky I talk a lot to Mina. Do you want me to talk to her? Or should you confess on your own? Can you ask her if she likes anyone in the group chat? Of course, I can ask her that. But just keep in mind that even if she likes someone, it might not necessarily mean it's you. 
Are you prepared for that possibility? Yeah, I understand. I just want to know her feelings before I make any moves. All right. I'll try to bring up the topic and see if she drops any hints. But remember, Tashiro, no matter how this turns out, you're a great person, and if she doesn't feel the same way, it's not a reflection of your worth. I really appreciate your help and your kind words. Remember, don't mention me, but just try to get her to say something. Will do. Thank you for telling me. I'll text her now to inquire. Okay, thanks. Celine sent a private message to Mina. Hi, Mina. Are you okay? I'm fine. How is Toshiro? Oh, haha. Ha. Yes, he's fine. I called him down. That's good. Anyways, random question. We haven't really spoken about this topic before. But do you have a crush on anyone in our group chat? Um, I don't know. Have you ever had a partner? No, I've never really felt that way about anyone. This is embarrassing. Ah, don't be embarrassed. But do you really not like anyone in the group chat? Define like. Oh, um, well. You get nervous around that person. You get hot and feel like your stomach is flying. Does that make sense to you? Like every time you hear their voice, you feel like butterflies are carrying you to heaven. And when they speak to you, it feels like you're talking to a whole crowd. And you always need to find the right words to say, but your head isn't working right. Yay, like that. Do you feel that way about anyone? Oh, um, I am. Um, I. Are you okay? Oh. She went offline. I'll talk to her some more tomorrow. In the group chat. Huh? Why is the group chat spamming so much? Co June, please don't add her. Seriously. She wants to say sorry. I just want the others to approve of it first, so shut up. Approve of what? Nothing. The girl that you exploded at in the hood wants to say sorry to Mina. Did you drop a coconut on your head? I told her that I didn't want her in my sight, so obviously. What's going on? Celine, you're smart. The girl who stomped Mina wants to formally apologize to her. It's a good idea, right? I'm unsure. The one who should inquire is Mina. Well, she's not online at the moment. Co June, are you aware of how sensitive Mina is? We need to ask her first. Ask me what? Oh, Mina. Perfect timing. The girl who confronted you in the hood yesterday wants to apologize to you. Is that acceptable? You really don't have to say yes, Mina. I don't know why Co June is so enthusiastic about adding this girl. Seems like he's got a crush. I just want to make Mina feel better. Anyways, Mina. All right. Are you sure? Yes, that's fine. Okay, I'll add her. Jesse underscore 501 was added. Oh, already. Um, all right. Hello, everyone. My name is Jesse. Just let's get to the point and get out of here. Toshiro, this conversation is between Mina and Jesse. Let them speak. Your name is Mina, right? Correct. I just wanted to apologize for what I did. I don't know you, and I shouldn't have just been up to a stranger and call the mean things. I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Thanks. I don't really care, though. No. Oh, it seemed like a big deal because of how your boyfriend reacted. I don't blame him, though. Boyfriend? Yeah, Tashiro, I think. Isn't he your boyfriend? Um, I don't, um. Well, boyfriend or not, he's a keeper, Mina. Um, she can go now. 
Honestly, she's kind of grown on me. Why don't we let her stay a bit? See where it goes. I agree. That apology was well said and very good, but this should be up to Mina. Mina, what do you say? I guess. Why not? But Toshiro seems uncomfortable. Um, Toshiro, is it okay if she's here? Fine, as long as it's okay for you. Bro? Switched fast. For real. Thank you, guys. You really didn't have to. Whatever. Welcome to the group. For now. Hey, guys. Wanna play murder mystery? But there are only three of us online. Alright. Oh, okay. They join a private server. Great Toshiro. Teach me sometime. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Sup? What are you guys doing? Just playing murder mystery. Diana, can I prove chat you? Sure. Jess. What's going on? Diana, I really trust you. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I think I like Toshiro, and I think I've gotten on his good side. Should I tell him that I like him? He's not interested in anyone. Right? Ah, uh, you're crushing. I'm pretty sure he isn't interested in anyone. Go for it, Jess. Okay. Thank you. In the group chat. Oh, hey, everyone's online. Sup, Jesse. Hey, Tashiro. Can we priv chat? I'm okay. What's up? Um, I hope this doesn't ruin our friendship, but I like you. And I was wondering if you would want to date or something. Nothing special. Oh, Jesse, I'm sorry. I don't feel the same. Oh. I'm truly sorry. I understand your feelings, and I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, Tishiro. I know confessing wasn't an easy thing to do. I genuinely appreciate your understanding. I hope we can still maintain a good relationship like before. Of course, Tishiro. I don't want this to affect our relationship. Thank you for your empathy and understanding. We're still friends. Okay, okay. Let's forget this ever happened and go back to the group chat. Okay. I'm sorry. Meanwhile. And that is the entire FNAF lore, guys. Cool, right? I never paid attention. Deanna, private chat me, please. Of course, Jess. They've become really good friends. I miss the old Mina and Diana duo. Me, too. You have us, Mina. Thanks. In private chat. I need to tell you something. Remember I told you about my feelings for Toshiro? Of course, Jesse. What happened? Well, I finally mustered up the courage to confess to him, but he turned me down. Oh no, Jesse. I'm so sorry to hear that. How are you holding up? I'm not. I think I need to have a talk with Toshiro. What? Why? Well, if he's hurting my friend, he's got some explaining to do. Diana, you don't have to do that. It's okay. In the group chat. Hey, Toshiro. Diana. Please don't. Seriously, Toshiro. Is this related to Sasha? You don't need to shatter my best friend's feelings just because. You used to be involved with a girl named Sasha who broke up with you two years ago. What? Who is Sasha? Diana, what the hell? Why are you bringing this up? What the hell do you know? To answer your question, Celine. 
Sasha is Toshiro's ex who cheated on him before you and Mina became part of the group. But why are you mad at Toshiro now? He rejected Jess. Oh, shit. Jesse likes Toshiro. I did not see that coming. Deanna, he doesn't like anyone right now. Just please don't make a scene. Guys, stop. Actually, you're wrong, Jesse. I do like someone. But even if I didn't, I still have the right to reach out to anyone. I don't have to like you. Surprising. You're actually capable of liking someone. Who is this mystery person that's in the way of my best friend? It's your other best friend. What? Are you fucking dumb Diana? Did you completely forget her? If this is about Sasha, then I'm not a friend anymore. It's fucking Mina. Mina, your fucking best friend. I've liked her for over a year now, and I've never been more in love. And we've all watched you slowly forget her and ditch her for your new best friend. Mm. I, um... You... Like Mina. The loser I never liked. Excuse me? Yeah, Toshiro. I only apologized for her to get on your good side. That's the extent of my affection for you. By the way, Toshiro, I want a response from Mina this time, not you. I want to gauge how well you can stand up to me. You know what, Mina? I've always despised your strange antisocial demeanor. You're so malevolent and repulsive, and I have no clue what Toshiro sees in you. Did your parents ever teach you how to be? Shut the hell up, Jesse. I fucking hate you. I knew from the start that you were a fake bitch. But I didn't expect you to come back all sorry and shit. I was never sorry. That proves my point. You're a fake bitch. And you saw how protective Toshiro was over me. So you decided to come here with your whack ass Logan Paul apology. And expect Toshiro to immediately fall in love. You failed. No one here except for Diana likes you know. You both can leave. And if you won't, I will. I, uh... Diana. Let's go find better. Jesse underscore 501 was removed by Celine number 2387. You better fucking explain what just fucking happened, Diana. I, um... I didn't know, I swear. I thought she was just a new friend. I'm so fucking disappointed right now, Diana. I'm sorry. I, I can't be here right now. Then leave. I'm in the way of your best friend anyways. Mina, I'm sorry. Diana Cute has left the group chat. What the fuck just happened? Mina, are you okay? I've never heard you raise your voice at someone. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't know why I got so mad. Um, please, private chat me. Of course. In private chat. Hey. Hello. Toshiro, we should talk about what he said. Oh, crap. I'm sorry, Mina. I shouldn't have blurted that out in front of everyone. You must have felt super uncomfortable. You have all right to not want to talk to me after that. No, Toshiro, it's not like that at all. Did you only say that just to get Jesse to stop? Um. No, Mina. I, I like you. Are you actually for real? Of course I am, Mina. Do you not like me back? Don't assume things. So what are your feelings towards me? Toshiro. I like you more than you can image. Okay. Oh, my god. Really? My heart is beating so fast. I can't believe it. Mine, too. So, Mina, would you like to be my girlfriend? I would love to, Toshiro. I can't believe this is actually happening. Mina, I'm over the moon right now. Me too, Toshiro. I never expected this turn of events. I'm really sorry for how I handled things earlier. I should have talked to you privately about my feelings instead of making it awkward for everyone. It's okay, Toshiro. 
Confessing feelings can be nerve-wracking. I appreciate your honesty, even if it was a bit public. Do you want us to make this relationship public? Of course, yes. The end.